Right, so Jack, uh, a great win over at St Helens. What are your thoughts after the game? Yeah, good. Um, obviously, good. Good to be back after a while, back in back in the team. Um, and I just thought uh, we came out on fire. We were we were we were awesome. Nearly the first set, we were we went absolutely straight through, didn't we? And uh, I think just our team performance really uh, were really good. We had probably we were on top for probably 65 minutes. We had like a 15 minute blip uh, where they scored their tries, but um, we came back well from it. We we recovered and got back and. Uh, we finished game strongly. How did the impact of injured players such as uh, Sam Walters coming back into the side uh, really help the t well the team? Yeah, it was good. It was good having so me and Sam obviously came back together, um, and it, it, obviously when you've been out for a while, it's a bit it's, you're a bit nervous going back into it because obviously you don't want to get injured again. But he uh, he were outstanding with Sam. I think he got man at match and. He, he uh, put a real good effort in for the team. I think he had about 25 carries or something stupid like that, and he, he had a real big performance. How good was it for you after your shoulder injury to get back out there uh, you, and playing as well as you did? Yeah, it was good. I think I've been out a month now since since Wigan game. Missed a couple of games, but um, obviously uh, a couple of result. Well, one at results not going our way, and then obviously re responding at Bradford, and uh, obviously coming off the back of that big win, it were. It were a good time to come back into the team when you know spirits were high and uh, especially one of the biggest games of the season and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. And going forward into into this week, we've got Warrington at Stanley on Saturday. What are your thoughts uh, about them as opposition from what you remember last season? Uh, yeah, yeah, always a big set. Um, obviously, we've got a tough three week, haven't we? We've got we've just had since now we've got Warrington and then we have Wigan week after. So obviously. We're just taking each game as it comes because it's like the top four basically. So uh, we want to go, you know, put a real statement out to the to the league and uh, come up with a result. And I think the, this week's training and last week have been they've been awesome. And uh, we've really we've really stepped it up a gear. And hopefully we can have a, a real strong team out again against Warrington and uh, get one over on them. You're coming back uh, with uh, Jacob Gannon. Who yeah, yeah. with you in the uh, under 16s? Uh, how good will it, will it be to meet him again? And some of the guys that you played with uh, Yorkshire and England with? Yeah, yeah. So obviously there's players like Ellis Longstaff and uh, who and uh, Jacob Gannon who we've uh, like you know met at Yorkshire and uh, Lancashire, and it's been real good. And it'll be good to uh, get into Gannon. He's put some size on since he was at Leeds, so uh, so we'll, he'll want to put in a big performance against us. So we'll just have to. Uh, uh, try and try and knock him down a peg or two, and then uh, same with other boys. And it just yeah, it's good good playing against players that you know. Looking just in terms of form at home at the moment at Stanley Lake, we've lost the last two games up there. How important is it that we get back in sort of the winning momentum on home turf? Yeah, massive. We wanted it to be uh, a bit of a fortress at home, but that's ended up being away. Um, but yeah, um, obviously we've had we've had two blips at home, and we're, we're eager to you know get back out there and. The fan, the fans, what come as own fans. Obviously, we want to, we want to keep them coming, and we we uh, we want to put on a real big performance for them.